Take it up! Take it up! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Dr. Drew! From one doctor to another doctor! This week on The Masked Singer, we're exposing the flamingo and the flower. Our talent recap detective Kyle is on the case and he's going to give us all the tea. But first, let's recap the show. Let the smackdown begin! Hi, I'm Mel. And I'm Kyle. And welcome to Talent Recap. All right, you guys, it was another great week on The Masked Singer, and you know we have to talk about everything that went down. So this week, the eagle was unmasked, and it was none other than Dr. Drew. Kyle, how epic was that? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty crazy. I mean, we've seen quite the range of celebrities already. You know, we saw Johnny Weir, the figure skater. We saw the YouTube streamer Ninja. We saw Layla Ali last week and now Dr. Drew. I mean, it's pretty crazy the range of celebrities that they got on this show. And so we know there's only more where that came from. Very, very true. Now let's talk about the SmackDown battle because it was Dr. Drew, aka the Eagle, versus Penguin. Penguin performed Worth It by Fifth Harmony, which is a bop we all know. And Eagle did These Boots Are Made For Walking by Nancy Sinatra. I always feel like song choice kind of proves if somebody is a singer or not because clearly he's not singing some like Aretha Franklin on the show. <laughs> exactly. And, and the same thing is true for the Penguin going up there singing Worth It. And she was just all up in Eagle's face was like bumping and grinding. And so I thought that's probably what won her the, the SmackDown more than her vocals was just the stage presence and the confidence she had there. Very, very true. Now I know, <laughs> Kyle, later in the episode, you are going to unmask two singers this week and I can't wait to find out. But first, let us go into our top two battle with our number two battle being Fox versus Penguin. Right over there, sat on a chair, stay or leave. The cabinets are bare and I'm unaware of just how we got. Pull me closer, why don't you pull me close? The fire burning in her eyes. This love has taken its toll on me. I have no choice. All right, so let's get into this battle. We had Fox singing This Love by Maroon 5, and then we had Penguin singing The Middle by Marin. How did you feel about this battle, Kyle? I mean, this wasn't even fair, to be honest. The Fox <laughs> is clearly a singer, someone who has a lot of vocal talent, and they were going up against the Penguin, who, again, has a great stage presence, a lot of confidence, but isn't the strongest vocally. And so, I mean, I think Fox had one of the best performances we've seen so far this season. And so, you know, that being considered, it was a good battle because we got to see the Fox's performance. I, act I totally agree with you. When Penguin hit the stage, I was like, all right, I definitely know that we're going to unmask you very soon. <laughs> yeah, we're like, uh, okay, I have a feeling she's not going to win this one. <laughs> so, you know, I know we're not going to un unmask the Penguin, but who are people saying the Penguin might be this season? Yeah, so for the Penguin, the most popular guesses I'm seeing, and a few of them are ones that the judges mentioned. Uh, Sherry Shepard. Mm. Uh, some people are saying Tanya Harding, the figure skater, which would also be interesting. Uh, Raven Simone, which people also think might be Black Widow. Mm -hmm. uh, Amy Schumer. And another one of the judges suggested Kathy Griffin. Ooh, that would be interesting. Yeah. And then what about the Fox? Who are people saying it might be? And for the Fox, we see a lot of the same ones that the judges guessed as well. Anthony Mackie, mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx, which would be a little on the nose, uh, Tay Diggs, Tyrese Gibson, uh, Leslie Odom Jr., and Wayne Brady. A lot of good guesses. A lot of good guesses. It's funny how there's so many of the same names for different characters. Last, Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> last week you unmasked Raven as the, the uh, Black Widow, so it's like we already canceled that out personally here at Talent <laughs> Recap. But let us know in the comments below who you think these characters are because we want to know and we want to hear your predictions. Now let's get into our top battle, which is Flower versus Eagle. Tumble out of bed and I stumble through the kitchen Pour myself a cup of ambition Young and stretch and try to come alive For service and devotion You would think that I And I would do anything for love But I just won't 
All right, so Kyle, The Flower, performed 9 to 5 by Dolly Parton, and Eagle, who we now know as Dr. Jew, said, I uh, performed I'd Do Anything for Love. This was an unfair battle. <laughs> <laughs> this really was. But The Flower absolutely brought it. I mean, it started out kind of slow, mm -hmm. and it felt like she might be trying to hold back a little bit. But by the time they got to the chorus, I mean, she was pedal to the metal. Ooh, and I like she, that. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, I mean, she just nailed that performance. It was amazing. Okay, I honestly get legend vibes from her already. The stage presence, I like, this is an icon, this is a diva, it has to be, or it's definitely somebody who can sing. Definitely. Nah. And, you know, people people online are guessing that it might be someone like Patti LaBelle, mm -hmm. Tina Turner, uh, Macy Gray. And then I've also seen uh, Wanda Sykes and Fantasia guest a lot. You never know. You never yeah. know. All right. So let us know in the comments who you think the flower is. But actually, it's that time of the show where Kyle is going to expose two characters, you guys. So we're going to unmask two characters on The Masked Singer. Kyle, who are those two performers going to be? Yeah, well, we're going to do both the flower and the flamingo. But since we were just talking about the flower, Let's why don't we start there? Let's get into it. So the flower is... Mambo. Patty LaBelle. Honestly, I totally agree with that. I know that voice. I feel like a lot of the viewers, let us know in the comments below if you agree with Kyle, because I feel like this is a big giveaway. But let us know why you think it's Patty LaBelle. We'll start with the first one, which there were a lot of clues talking about cooking. And Patty LaBelle has had her own cooking show on the Cooking Channel. Yes. And she also has you know tons of recipes online and everything. Uh, so that's one. Second, she mentions Empire, which has happened before on this show, yes. even this, se this season. And uh, Patti LaBelle was a guest star on Empire. Uh, the third, um, there were a few pictures behind Patti on the wall when she was in the kitchen. One of them was a Temple U degree that said Dr. Flower. And Patti has received an honorary doctorate, doctorate. from Temple University. So that was kind of one of the dead giveaway kind of clues. Uh, and then also next to that, there was a rainbow flag. And Patti LaBelle is known for being an ally to the LGBTQ community. Um, and then we also saw a star on the fridge behind her uh, in the kitchen. And that is alluding to her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, she also made a Mariah Carey reference to Vision of Love. And she is Mariah Carey's godmother. But we also saw Gladys Knight do the same thing last season as the B of kind of throw out a few other divas names yeah. to get people off track. Uh, but that's a connection there. And then also in the super sneak peek, there was a 314 behind the flower. And so a lot of people drew instant connections to St. Louis because it's a St. Louis area code. But the three the 3114 actually is also pie. And so and Patty LaBelle is really well known for her her pies. Pie. And so the last clue that we saw is her talking about being a legend. And there is no doubt that Patty LaBelle is a legend. Kyle, that rundown was amazing. I mean, honestly, I feel like she she can't hide it. There's no way that she, she can. can deny that she's on the show. I think you did amazing. And let us know in the comments below, once again, if you agree, because he did that. I think you did that, Kyle. Now, who <laughs> yeah. are you unmasking now? So the second one is going to be the Flamingo. Who is the Flamingo? OK, I have a prediction. I hope we're on the same. Yeah, wait, let's hear your prediction first. Let's see. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna be Kyle right now. Is it Adrian? Yes, it is. Adrian <laughs> Bylone Houghton. I looked that up this week so I can pronounce it. Let us know why you think that it is Adrian. Yeah, so the first clue is at the beginning of her first clue package, she says, What's up, everyone? Hey, what's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? Which is something that she says yes. in the intro to a lot of her YouTube mm -hmm. videos. And so that leads us into our second clue. She does have a YouTube channel, and that was a big, you know, kind of topic in the clue package. Uh, next, she talks about makeup and beauty, and Adrienne does a lot of beauty, like insider tips and stuff like that on her YouTube channel. Uh, the next one is she also shows a cross necklace, and Adrienne is a Christian, uh, so there's a tie there as well. Uh, next, we saw her in a cage, and she talked about how she was trapped, and uh, that can be an allusion to the Cheetah Girls. Uh, we also saw her dancing with a glow wand, 
Uh, and that might have looked familiar because she used those on the Disney Channel when they draw the little Mickey in the corner. Goals, yeah. by the way. Goals. And so next we had, she was reading some books. One of them was a women's health book. One of them was said Spanish. And one said Little Women, which is alluding to 3LW, which is one of the girl groups that she was in. And then last, throughout the package, it was playing Latin music. And Adrian is, you know, a She's vet. a Latina girl. <laughs> exactly. And so that, all of those things together kind of sealed the deal that this is Adrian. Kyle, I mean, honestly, you gave that rundown so perfectly. All the clues fit. I think that it's Adrian. Let us know in the I comments. Too. Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you agree with Kyle. I know I do because when I like to place bets, I like to win, so I always go to Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> you are amazing. I don't know how you do it. I still don't know how you do it. You know, we'll never know. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle, but one thing though, Adrian has totally denied being on the show. You know how these stars get, and she's just like, I, I like, pleads the fifth. She doesn't know anything about this show. Do you want to tell us something? I literally don't understand how people can think I can do this show at four o'clock in the morning and that show at night. Let's start there. The answer is no. It, no? No. I could have sworn it was you. Are you, you serious? It's not me. But well, if you were, this. you couldn't tell us anyway. No. Yeah. But <laughs> no. what are your thoughts on that? Are you feeling a little nervous? And this is like a constant thing with the people who are on the show. They get they get bombarded with questions about it. And of course they have to deny it. I mean, we talked about this last week with Victor Oladipo being thingamajig. Now we're talking about with Adrienne. We also saw this week that Seal came forward and said that he wasn't the leopard, which it's, you know, the clues mm. are kind of lining up to that if you look into it as well. So if you look on talentrecap.com, we have that video of Seal denying as well. All right, uh, the mass Singer, is that you? Ah. And, you know, you have to kind of take everything that these celebrities are saying with a grain of salt. Honestly. Because they obviously can't say that they're on the show. NDAs exist, people, so they're always going to be denying stuff. But you know what? Let us know in the comments below who you think these mass Singers are. Who do you want to see unmasked next? Who are you fiending and just really, really want to see? Let us know in the comments. And you know what? Maybe Kyle might expose that person next week. Ooh. But you know what, Kyle? I think it's time for us to get into our comment of the week. So every week we choose one of your comments from a previous video and shout you out, love and or hate, because we love you guys. And this week's comment comes from Rami Boo 2 um, who says, it's called Google Mel. It's amazing what you can find there. However, I'm totally recognizing the voices which leads me to Google these people. Kyle, you, me, are, we are in sync just like last year. Listen, Rami Boo, I know Google exists. I am Google's number one stand, but why use Google when there's Kyle? Kyle could just... Kyle just does it for me. So, you know, I, I, I appreciate Kyle so much. And like I said, I like to win when I'm placing my bets. So shout out yeah, to him. Yeah, and plus, when you're Googling, my articles are what shows up anyway. Exactly. So if you want to map out all the clues and see what's up, you just come to me. Go to the source. Google, which leads you to talentrecap.com, which I have a link above me right now. And it'll lead to all of Kyle's articles. He's done some unmasking. So, you know, you could take a peek and see what's coming up soon. Thank you, Kyle, once again. You are amazing. Our detective on Talent Recap, he basically gives us all the tea. Let everybody know where they can find you on socials. Yeah, it's Came on Pleasure on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to battle it out with him, make sure you do because, you know, we might shout you out on next week's show. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> and you can follow me at double underscore Mel Bay. Now make sure you follow us on Talent Recap on all platforms platforms instagram twitter facebook you know the vibes you guys and that's our talent recap hold on have you subscribed to talent recap yet click the subscribe button below and make sure you join the talent recap fam and join the conversation in the comments below